Hi everyone and welcome back to Take A Review and welcome to another Filmora 10 tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at motion tracking and how quick and simple it is to add motion tracking to your videos. Now a couple of things to remember with motion tracking. One is that your subject or the, what you're tracking needs to be fairly well lit so if it's dark or not in a you know very bright scene something like that you might struggle to motion track and the object you're tracking needs to be in frame or in shot for the duration of the tracking. Now I'll give you a quick example of what happens if what you're tracking goes out of shot. Now here is a short sequence of Skittles My Dalmatian and as you can see she runs behind a tree. Now we're just going to split that there and what we're going to do is I'm going to apply motion tracking to Skittles and then you're going to see what happens as she runs behind the tree. So two ways to get to motion tracking. You can double click on the actual video sequence you want, go to motion tracking up here and you get this little box to track. Quick away. On the toolbar, you've got the little motion tracking icon here. Select that on your toolbar and you get the same motion tracking box come up now. Make sure, whoops, make sure that your object you're tracking is centered in that box. Once you're happy with that, select start tracking. Now watch closely as Skittle disappears and reappears behind the tree. Now unfortunately, the tracking is lost. So if we slowly scrub through that, it tracks and then as soon as Skittle disappears, tracking's lost. Now unfortunately, Filmora at the moment can't determine where Skittles will re-emerge and start and carrot will continue the tracking. So unfortunately, what you have to do is just make sure that the subject you're tracking is in frame for that duration. So let's select another scene. So in this scene here, as we scrub through, you'll see Skittles is in shot all the time. Now, when you do motion track, it make sure that your playhead is at the start of the scene you want to motion track. So again, let's select motion tracking on our toolbar. Center Skittles in that box. Select start tracking. And there you go, the box successfully tracks Skittles as she moves around. Now we're going to add our title. If you come up to titles, now there are hundreds of titles you can choose and you can apply any of these whichever suits your needs. Now we're just going to go for a very basic title here. Now we're just going to drag this onto our timeline. And obviously we want it above the video that we're adding this to and then just stretch it out so it's the same length. Double click on the title and then we're just going to rename this to Skittles. Give it some colour. And then we want to reposition this just above Skittles, make it a little smaller. Now, before that title tracks Skittles as she moves, we need to go back into our motion tracking. And we've got a little drop down box here. And this is where we select what it is we want to assign to that tracking box. So in this case, it's the default title. And then if we play our sequence now, we see it following Skittles as she walks. It's that simple. Okay, we'll do another example, but this time the object we're tracking is a bit smaller and a bit further away in our scene. So if we go back to our media, so, in this scene, we've got a deer in a field as it runs away. So let's just shorten this clip down a bit. Um, playhead needs to be at the start. Make sure we've got video, our video track selected, motion tracking. Again, center the box over what it is we want to track. Select start tracking, and then we can see it's successfully tracking 
the deer as it runs across the field. So again, let's go and add a title. Stretch it out so it's the same same length as our video. Rename the title, so we'll call this deer. And then, I mean, you can position this wherever you want. You can position it down here. You can obviously put it at an angle if you wish. Once we're happy with that, we go back to our motion tracking, select the default title, which we're assigning to our tracking, tracking box, and then we're done. So we play our sequence again. It is that simple, really simple to do. Now you can even use this technique to assign this, you know, a, a label to gameplay footage. So if you want to introduce your character in a game you play or or something like that, um, it is you can do exactly the same thing. So what we will do is we'll add some gameplay footage. So a bit of gameplay footage from Call of Duty. And now this is quite lengthy. So let's just shorten it down a bit. All right. So towards the end. There's a bit where I'm sort of parachuting in. So what we'll do is we'll track one of these buildings. So, so let's start from about here. We're going to track this center building here. So let's split our video then just slowly scrub through just to make just to make sure that building is in shot for the duration of the track okay so we'll cut that again there don't need that video for this right move our playhead back to the beginning go into motion track move our tracking box over what it is we want to track Click start tracking and there we go. Now we need to go and add our title. Let's add something slightly different. Let's do let's do this call out four as our label. So we'll drag that to our timeline. Make sure it's the same length. There we go. Now obviously we need to sort of resize and reposition this. So first off. Let's make this a bit smaller. There we go. Yeah. So let's get rid of that text. We don't want that text. And we're going to rename this to main hanger. Give that a bit of color. Let's then drop it, resize it in here. Okay, remember to go back into tracking, select call out four, and let's play our sequence. Perfect, it is that simple. Now, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell because I'll be doing lots of these little tutorials over the next coming weeks and months. So hit that notification bell, you'll get notified when I upload some new content. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time.